Hello everyone and welcome back to Shanahan Militaria. Today's video about recovering is body armour and we're covering the RUC or Royal Ulster Constabulary Type 2 body armour or what I, what we believe is the Type 2 body armour. Now me and a friend who kindly has donated this item to me, I have been after one for a long time and they're, they're very hard to get. Um, we've deciphered some a few things on it. Uh, so pieces of information and markings so if you do come across one if you um, you may see the same markings and stuff like that on it to make it easier for you so I'm just going to show you what, what the body armor actually is first of all now it's quite heavy um, it's 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 a bib type so what you do is you basically undo the sides and it opens up like a big a big bib you just put it on over your head you have a strap that goes then on the inside. I'll just show you now in a second. But you secure it with a piece of Velcro, just like that. Then you have two more pieces of Velcro on the sides, and a death flip either side, and that's it. There is actually a ballistic plate here in the front, and there is actually a ballistic plate in the back as well. So it's a, a very substantial piece of body armour. Now these were worn from the mid 80s all the way up until the late 90s, um, the Type 2, as I said there was different variants of body armour that were issued uh, in the Troubles in Northern Ireland, but this one is the Type 2. So we're going to put it on the floor and I'm going to show you, so, show you some markings and um, things on it that hopefully I can get a bit of information about as well if people are watching this video that they don't know. So now we have the item on the floor here, I'm going to decipher some of the uh, markings that I have found uh, or that we have found on the inside of the jacket I should say so if I just open this velcro here a second you'll see on this side of it here on the second there now and I'll just turn it around which would be the front of it you'll actually see a nickname or a name that is here Big Bob I if you can make that out there now just one second so there's the name here on the top of it Big Bob so marked by the guy's name now if we turn it back the right way again you'll see this number here BH116 now the 116 I believe is his service number the B is probably his initial if it's Big Bob Bob must be his first name or his first initial and then the H would be his second initial and then his service number now when you open it up in here you will see N2 94 right Obviously how could the camera to bring that up but each area or each district in Northern Ireland had its own letter and color okay so the N was the code or the area code for Straban and Derry or London Derry whichever way you want to pronounce it the two I believe was for the uh, mobile support group that he was in the number two part of the mobile support group which um, were mobile obviously mobile support or, or sorry MSU the yeah, mobile support unit they were mobile um, officers that were driving around in Land Rovers that could go to any area at a moment's notice and then the 94 is for the year of issue well that's what I believe it is anyway and what the gentleman that gave me the um, jacket or body armour believe also so if, if you do have information or if you do know what some of these markings are these codes are please leave a comment below the uh, more information we have the better so that's it for this video so if you like what we provide here at Shanahan Militaria please like please subscribe please tune in for the next video don't forget to hit the notification button if you want to get in contact with the channel as always the email for the channel will be on top of the video description. Thank you.